Hello, welcome Solex Nation. We have a brand new announcement. In May, we are going to have a Legacy Group event. So if you are part of the Legacy Group, that means you own a Solex Silver Coin, you are invited to this event. It is on May 2nd, that is a Thursday. It is 4 p.m. Mountain Time. It is going to be an hour long event. So go ahead, put that on your calendar and we will have more information coming soon. It is April, so that means uh, we have a new incentive for this month. It is Think Drops. So if you bring anyone on this month as a QLA or a PC with a bundle and a subscription, they will receive a free bottle of Think Drops. That is an awesome promotion, so make sure you tell everyone about it. In September, we have our live day of discovery. Also put that on your calendar, it's September 13th and 14th. I have heard the phrase, leaders are born at events. I talked to so many people who told me they came to our live day of discovery and realized that Solex is their home, that this is where they wanna build their business, that this is where they wanna spend their time. They uh, got to be with so many like-minded people and they got to learn from each other and collaborate with each other. And it's just a, a huge motivation. And first, you get to see things first too. You get to see the new launches of the new products and what's coming out on the scanner. And I'm telling you, we say this every time, but this day of discovery is blowing my mind. I can't believe the things that we're releasing. So you want to be there. You wanna see it first. You wanna make that commitment to come to day of discovery. It's in Provo, Utah, 13th and 14th of September. September. And for more information, visit solexglobal.com and just click on events. We have another license plate to announce this week. This is Kristen Nowatsky. And this is an AO scan plate. That is so awesome, Kristen. Now you have a coin. You're part of the Legacy Group. You get to come to our Legacy Group event on May 2nd. Congratulations. Great job with that plate. All right. Our contest last week was how do you plan to use multicast? So we're going to draw three Three winners, and we've got the black onyx bracelet. Okay, first one is Maggie Atkins. I absolutely love the multicast. I love that I can take a few minutes to scan each of my family members and then add whatever playlist to each person. Affirmations, I usually copy and paste the same one to all to make it simple yet effective. So thankful for multicast. Perfect, love that. All right, next person is Conscious Evolution 369. So far, I have been using it in my family and opting to scan the flower, add personalized affirmations and playlists. I'm open to hear how others are using it. This has been an amazing addition and time saver. I've heard that a lot, that it's a time saver. I love it in my own family. I can scan, I can scan my entire family at the same time and I just appreciate that that uh, availability. Okay, last one is D Hurley. I am loving the multicast option. It saves so much time and seems to be more powerful than doing individual broadcasts. Thank you so much for adding this feature. Wonderful, thank you to all three of you and we will get those uh, bracelets sent to you tomorrow. All right, we have top and rollers and this is April 1st through April 7th. And we have some ties. In second place, we have Alan Stanley. We have Sharon Stanley, Cindy Leslie, and Ebb and Flow Holistic Health. Congratulations to all four of you. We also have a tie for first place. We have Simmons Holistics Inc., Paige Wheeler, and Jethro Smith. All right, let's go ahead and turn the time over to Kai and Melinda Liu. Tell us a little bit about who is Melinda Liu? I live in Tennessee. I live just about an hour south of Nashville. Um, I've been a massage therapist for 20 plus years. I'm also a success coach for massage therapists. I'm a thermography tech. I'm a frequency practitioner and an all around wellness enthusiast. Now you've, uh, how did you get into that? Because that is not something you just like you know, aspire to when you're in fourth grade, you know, <laughs> no. where I was sitting there, I'm like, oh, I had a lot of work on my teeth. And it's like, I want to be a dentist. No, you don't think of that like, I'm going to work in frequency. I'm going to work in energy. I'm going to work uh, even in massage therapy. How did you get into these fields? I started off as a client. Uh -huh. And I feel like a lot of holistic practitioners that start as clients really have like an authentic personal story that awakens a passion in you to want to give that same gift to others. So I started off as a massage client, 
And then I was fortunate enough to um, kind of decide that I'm going to be in the healing arts and and have this be my career. And then I had been exposed to different energy healers and I was aware that there's, you know, these unseen forces that were Mm -hmm. unaware of, you know, on kind of the surface level, but that it really is the basis for healing. And then my first foray into health technology was honestly an infrared biomat. And I remember lying on that mat for the first time and thinking, oh my gosh, this is how I feel in an energy healing session, or this is how I feel when I'm doing a meditation, but I have the same experience by just pushing this button right. and having a relaxing meditative experience. So I, I loved the idea that it was so convenient to push a button and experience a healing experience. And so then I was thinking, well, what else is out there You know that I can uh, – utilize for my own personal health and bring into my client sessions. How did you find Solex? Well, after 2020, I moved to Tennessee. Mm-hmm. And then I just, I had this feeling like I, I'm a, I get to be a new person now. You know when you start somewhere new? Yes. And I get to sort of like rebrand myself however I want to be. It was maybe a little bit early on the midlife crisis thing. <laughs> 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 so I was um, really interested in frequency technology and i i had the sense that it used to be uh underground and you know yeah. not as popular and I, I i knew that there was a wave of um frequency medicine and frequency technology and healing coming and uh i had already been interested in it you know mm-hmm. as a practitioner uh, so there was that natural interest and then i also knew in business it's good to be at the beginning of a trend. <laughs> yes, that so was smart. <laughs> so then I kind of saw this opportunity and I thought to myself, I want to be in some kind of frequency-based business. So I just walked up to this coffee shop and I said to the owner of the coffee shop, I'm going to start a business with frequencies. And he's like, well, then you need to know about AOScan. And he was already right there with me on the same page, already utilizing um, frequency technology. And so it was just Perfect timing. It's very serendipitous. No kidding. I mean, the, we could probably spend an hour just what led you to approach and ask that question, which in and of itself is phenomenal. But to have that answer, when you saw AO Scan, so he leads you to AO Scan, and you have your first experience with AO Scan, mm-hmm. you start to see what it is. Mm-hmm. It makes sense to you? Well, I had already been. Uh, interested in Rife machines. Okay. But I was very intimidated by the price point. Yes. You know, because some of them are 10000 12000 yeah. And I just felt like, oh, you know, I'm not quite there yet and wanting yeah. to invest those types of numbers, even just for my own personal right. health. Um, so I was sort of familiar with the idea that there are these databases or frequencies for everything. Mm-hmm. And I loved that concept, but I just felt intimidated by the other products on the market. So then when I was exposed to um, AOScan, it was very user-friendly and very like um, easy for me to just pick up. And it was like a kid in a candy store, yeah. you know, like, oh, my gosh, I have all these frequencies to play with. Woo-hoo. Yeah, and so many. I mean, when you're t- talking about when you actually hear the number, like over 170,000 data points, you're like, wow. You know, are there that many parts in my body, right? Are there that many <laughs> right. things to really look at and consider? <laughs> no, but there are. And, and it's fascinating when you start to understand how energy is in everything, how vibration and frequency are a part of everything. Um, if you're open to that idea, it really unfolds uh, so many new opportunities. It doesn't mean we give up what we already know and are comfortable with, right? Mm-hmm. Like we were talking um, just earlier today, uh, you came into town, you're at the hotel. I said, hey, how'd you sleep last night? <laughs> and your response was like, not the greatest. Mm, not the greatest. Yeah. Which is not uh, not a um, a unique thing for you. No. No, you you should kind of struggle with some sleep challenges and have struggled with sleep challenges for a while. Yes. Yeah. For at least a couple years, I would say it's it's been less than ideal for sure. Yeah. If you don't mind sharing it, and feel free to, to not share anything more than you want. What like is it just a short night's sleep? Is it a lot of disrupted sleep? What what kind of sleep process do you struggle with? Um, it's kind of 
all over the board. Uh, occasionally, I'll have a hard time falling asleep, but sometimes I'll fall asleep fast, but then I'll wake up and stay awake in the middle of the night. And, um, you know, then I'm kind of struggling to get back to sleep. And, and even occasionally, I'll wake up at four. And in my mind, I'm like, I've got two more hours. Yeah, like, come on. Get, get that last two hours in, but I'm just laying there at four, you know? Yeah, and you're trying to go back to sleep. <laughs> yes. You're like, please, as you watch the clock tick, 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 and you're like, oh, I don't have two hours left. I have an hour and a half, I have an hour right. 15, I have an hour. That's a struggle. I, I think a lot of us go through that. In fact, whether it's it's not necessarily always diagnosed as insomnia, but insomnia is a, is a big challenge, and, and that is in and of itself interesting. In fact, I came across this statistic that 30% of the population suffers from some form of insomnia. Oh, I believe that. When you think of the population, if you take the U.S. population, 332 million, that's about 100 million people. Yikes. Right? Crazy number of us that struggle with some sort of sleep challenge. I mean, you know, and there are various parts and, and ways to look at insomnia in and of itself. But when you st then start to look at the tail on effects of insomnia, mm -hmm. right? When you think about um, the struggles with, you know, heart struggles, uh, um, blood pressure challenges, uh, you face other things, even like psychological, like depression and things like that, mm -hmm. all feed off of that mm -hmm. uh, situation. And yet we sit there at waking up at four in the morning and, okay, I have two hours left. Please, please, please. please. <laughs> <You> <laughs> yes. know, can, I, can I get back to sleep? And that was one of the interesting things. When we came out with sleep, when we were working on this, this product, Sleep by Solex, we were very interested. Uh, we always do it in this approach, right? We never take the approach of just throwing something else out there. We don't want just, great, there's a thousand sleep products out there. Let's just be another one. Right. Right? Because that doesn't help. Mm -hmm. doesn't do anything for anybody. Our approach is if we can make it better, then do it. If you can't, leave it alone. Mm. Right? And so when we looked at uh, what could we do with this massive challenge, right? 100 million people in the United States alone with some significant sleep challenge. How do we address this? And so that's where we kind of took the approach of there, there are three prongs to the sleep product. One is addressing the, the nervous system, calming the nervous system. Is there, are there inhibitors that can be put into place that are very um, attractive to the body that allow the body to just take the nervous system and nervous system and just calm things down? But then you have the muscular skeletal system that also needs to relax, you know, twitching muscles, things like that, where you're trying to address Let's calm the nervous system, but let's also calm the muscular skeletal system. And then you don't have this problem. I do because I'm old. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I have to go to the bathroom. It ha you talk to any old person and they, most of them are facing this challenge. And there's some sort of liver blockage taking place. And so we added ingredients to help calm that blockage effect, meaning... Let's uh, smooth things down so that that part of uh, the process that takes place and is in full effect while you're sleeping actually doesn't have any blockages in it so that you it wakes you up and you have to do something about it. I've heard that the liver has a role in insomnia, and I wasn't really sure why. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. So when you look at that, I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to address this, but one of the key things was it didn't make, yeah, okay, there's there's a lot of products that have some of the ingredients in there and a lot of products have some of the other ingredients. Nobody really has this kind of combination. Okay, good, but not great. Mm -hmm. But that's where nano came into effect, mm. right? You're familiar with our nano products. I love your nano products. Right? Yes, big fan. Yeah, me too. Like Blue and Pulse and D3K2, all of these, love these, right? Mm -hmm. But love the way that the body can use them so efficiently because you, we've taken the time to, to separate things, mm -hmm. to make things smaller, right? right. Nano, if, you, if you've never heard of it, nano is the one billionth of a meter. So small, super tiny. Like it's hard even to comp comp comprehend. We can't really get our mind around how tiny that is. True. Yeah, it's so small. 
But the effect of that actually is even a little bit more impressive, I think. Um, if you weren't taking a nano product, what kind of product would it be for sleep? Would it be some sort of pill form or powder form? Oh, my gosh. I've tried so many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, melatonin, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sleepy teas, yeah. you know, herbal remedies, yeah. and um, we've even tried some cannabis yeah. and just, yeah, so many different things um, with, you know, varying effects and some of them help a little and some of them help to go to sleep faster, but then maybe they wear off at some point. Yeah. Um, but I do find that some of them are a little aggressive yeah. and some the ones that are aggressive to me – I feel like there's side effects from that, like it's mm -hmm. harsh on my system, kind of really making it almost worse the next day. Yeah, that, that's actually a really good point. Um, I think the, that the whole uh, nutraceutical industry in and of itself has great intentions. I mean, there's a lot of bad intentions in there too, but I think the overall foundation to help with sleep or to help with some other ailment the intention is good, and that's that's a good starting point. But if we leave it there, we end up doing kind of what you've experienced and I've experienced, where sometimes we just load our bodies too much. It's extreme. We put way too much stress, right, on the situation. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think nano is so effective and so valuable. Uh, as we unfold the reach of nano, we essentially what we learn really quickly at that size is that the reach is so much farther than, um, with, with, well, so much farther with so much less, if that makes sense. If you take a whole bunch of small things and unfold them out, you collect them all together, it becomes bigger than just one big thing folded out in and of itself. Uh, the imagery there is is um, the idea of you you can take the circumference of the earth, the whole surface of the earth, and if you were just to lay it out in a square, it would be a certain set of dimensions. Or you could nanoparticle size the earth and take all of those tiny one billionth of a meter pieces and fold all those out and connect them all together. And you're talking about being an exponentially bigger than the earth itself folded, unfolded because there's so many parts involved. Um, when you think of that, that the effect of just a small pinprick amount of material actually reaches so much further than something visually bigger. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of uh, almost seems backwards, and that's kind of where the United States in a supplement market as a whole has really driven toward, right? More is better. More is better, mm -hmm. right? Just give more. Just throw more at, at the person, and they're bound to feel something, right? They're bound mm -hmm. to experience something, but then they may feel something that they didn't want to feel. Right. Like your body had to do so much work to process it. Yeah. And then it's tired from all that work. <laughs> yes, exactly. And we do that. We, we, by loading so much ingredient for our body to digest and to process and to clean, we're actually giving it, we're taxing it more than it needs. And so in sleep in and of itself, we try to be pretty elegant with how we put these amounts together. In fact, like so many people have heard, if you use melatonin to try and help us sleep, if you've used it for a while, you've probably at some point been concerned that, boy, I, my body can adapt to this and adjust to this. Like a tolerance. A, a tolerance mm -hmm. level to it. And then it can get too much and either I have to take too much or I have to go to something else all, altogether. And so low dosing actually in melatonin actually has become more effective. I've heard on that. On so many fronts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's what you kind of see in sleep itself. Lower doses, but with the idea of that low dose being nano, the reach is far. Mm. And so we try to put this, this mix of not only effective ingredients together, but in such a way that the amount doesn't cause any stress in the body because your body doesn't need any stress while you're trying to fall asleep. Let it do its work. And that it, let it be refreshing in and of itself because there is there's no excess. Essentially, let's use it all up. Mm -hmm. let's, let's make use of what is given for the effect we're trying to achieve, which is to sleep and sleep the whole night. Right. And then have a good morning, right? 
That's what we all hope for. Yeah, sounds <laughs> right? good. Yeah, right? Sign like, me up. Yeah, like, please, <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> and I'm in the same boat. I've been, I've been there. One of the things with these kind of products that's interesting, though, is that um, every person is different. And when you're dealing with, with natural ingredients in and of themselves, every person's going to react a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. When they react differently, um, you'll find that some people – may have an experience that very night, the first time they take it. Mm. But others require some greater degree of blood saturation of those ingredients before it actually is noticeable. Right. Not that it's not doing something. It's just, is it noticeable? We're all starting at different places. That's perfect. Yeah, Mm. perfectly said. And so that's where, like, when you think of something like sleep, you're – in fact, there are a lot of research studies out there that say this is a one to thirty, a one week to thirty day process to get the blood saturation level sufficient. Well, I'm thinking of GABA in particular um, before its uh, usefulness in the body, and this is based on their clinicals and obviously the varying degree of the patient in those clinicals. Mm-hmm. And, but they found effectiveness in one week to thirty days. Well, if you think, well, thirty days. For some of us, it's a long time to wait, but we might as well get on it. I totally agree with you about the saturation for the 30 days that some people need. But can I tell you what I've experienced with the nano? Oh, yes. Um, it's not subtle. <laughs> you know, it's it's fast acting and you feel it right away. I, I like to think of myself as... I call it kinesthetically aware. Mm. I think that we have different types of intelligences in our body. We have intellect, we have emotional intelligence, and we have body intelligence or kinesthetic intelligence. So that's how I live my life is like I'm always feeling things in my body. Do I feel this? Do I not feel this? And when I had taken just regular supplements before that weren't nano, um, it was a question like, do I feel this or not? And I would pay attention. And, and a lot of the times i I really didn't know if I felt anything, but not with the nano because like you're saying, this reach is so fast acting and it covers so much in a short period of time. I feel it right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and it really, you should, right? Because that particle size should be absorbing the minute it hits in the your surface. Mouth. <laughs> yeah. As soon as it hits a surface, right? It's just starting to go in, get into the bloodstream and start to do what it needs to do. Go where it needs to go. I love that. I think that, that that's a the, um, the experience I would hope that you would have. It's the experience I hope to have myself, right, as I use these nano products. And I think that that's a, um, kind of the edge, really, of challenging the status quo of whatever should be made, can be made, is that it, can it be made better? Great. Let's make it better. If you can't make it better, leave it the way it is. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. But we should always, even Solix should be looking at itself the same way of, is there something that you've made that you can make better? Great. Make it better. Right? Mm-hmm. And we want to be challenged by others in the, in the process. Well, I, I, I think this is a very interesting step as far as, as we narrow the funnel of support within the body to specific areas. And in this case, we've been talking about sleep. That is an avenue that really could solve so many tail-on effects uh, in and of itself. And to your point in the beginning, how you got to Solex through the scanner is we learn, and we've said this before, um, I could imprint the frequency of an apple and put it on a cephidot and put it on my, and, and get the benefit of that, of the frequency. But the flip side of it, the other side of life is also the tangible, the mm-hmm. chemical, the, the, the nutrient side the in, the, in the apple itself. What happens when frequency aligns with the actual frequency of the thing? It's in perfect harmony. Mm. It comes together exactly the way it's supposed to. So even sleep frequency, the things that carry that frequency combined with the things that induce that frequency in the body, it, there couldn't be a better alignment than having that combination like yin and yang yes that's exactly <laughs> right i love that well linda we've loved having you here thanks for sharing with us for years i felt like i was trapped in a dark room and 
There was no way that I knew of to get out. And then I started uh, using MindSync consistently. And I started doing things that I loved again and, and feeling uh, a love for life again. Playing the saxophone <laughs> and uh, playing the piano again, uh, taking pictures, I love taking pictures, and um, reading. And it almost felt like with MindSync, light just flooded that dark room. You know, Caillou and Melinda Lou had a great conversation about sleep. And now that everybody's had a good night's sleep, we want you to give us some tips of what you're going to do to make your day more productive. Phenomenal transition. I love that because that is what we're going to focus on this week. Give us your comments. What is it you do, right, to have a fantastic day, a clear day? Let's give away our other product that we launched, Think Drops with Krill. Love it. Love that. That's it. The Krill is amazing. Those that, that love Krill, understand Krill, know how powerful Krill is. So what do you do to have a productive day? Let us know in the comments and we'll draw three names for Think Drops with Krill next week. See you then. A group event. We asked you, what do you, how do you plan on you? Drink drops next week. Oh, oh, shit. No. I didn't say it fast. Okay, wait, three, three drops. <laughs> you said it too. <laughs>